hello friend today we are going to download xamp server in our windows 11 machine for that we have to first open our browser and search xamp download and after that hit enter you can see the first link just click on here and after that you can see the download option for windows if you scroll down you can find the download option for linux and o os x okay now we have to download for windows that's why we just go to the 64 bit and we are going to download the latest version okay now clicking here you can see it start download after some time now you can see our Zen server is downloading okay now after download just double click on it and i just minimize this okay it takes some time and after that it will start installing okay now click on yes now this is the warning important because an activated user account control on your system some function of xamp are possibly restricted with uac please avoid the installation of xamp to this just ignore this warning for now and click on ok and after that click on next and this is the module you get when you install xamp mysql apache filezilla ftp server mercury mail server tomcat and here you can see php my admin my admin and after that you can see web weblizer and fake sender mail is installed with when you install xam now i just leave it as it is and after that click on next if you don't have any specific reason then just leave the selected folder as it is and click on next and after that you can see the language option you can install in dutch and you can also install in english i just click on english and click on next and after that click on next it will start installing xam server okay now after installation you can see it want your permission just click on allow access and after that it will complete installation okay here we go now you can see do you want to start the control panel now i just leave it as it is and click on finish if you just untick now go to the uh, window icon and click on all app and after scrolling you will find the XAMPP option here you can see XAMPP option just click on here now you can see the control panel option new which is now opening by default okay and you can see here also we have control Here you can see con XAM control option also. Now here you can see we have Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat. And after that you can see option. We have action. We can start. We can after start we can stop also. We have config option and we have log option. Okay. Now first of all let's click on start. When the color of uh, this module is green, it means it runs successfully. Okay. Now you can see the port number is 80. Okay. Now after that, you can also start my SQL. You can see now it is also green. Okay. Now after that, you can see the port number of my SQL also. Now I just open my browser and search local local host and click enter 
you can see our vamp is successfully installed when i click on my admin you can see my admin php my admin is also open here you can create database export import and whatever you want to do you can easily do okay now here i just click local host again okay now if your port is busy when your port is busy for example 80 port number is busy then it will give you error and your apache is not running then in that case you can change also first let's see how many ports are available and how many ports are busy you can see the list these all ports are busy with the name of exe host system and so on you can see the list okay now if you want to change the port number you have to just go to the config okay and click on here and after that it open a file in your notepad here we go and just scroll down a little bit and after that you can see the listen and this is the port number 80 you can change from here also 80 but it is a comment or it won't reflect i just change the 80 to 80 80 and after that click on control plus s it will save okay now after that just cut now you can see when i stop and re restart you can see the port number i just stop and restart okay now you can see the port number 8080 is visible when i come back to here and just refresh you can see now it's it's not in this port number and it will give us error for that we have just removed the text and just local host and then colon and 80 80 now let's hit enter you can see now now our xamp is running on the port number 8080 when i come here and just refresh you can see it is also not working because of the port number i just provide colon and 80 80 if you are running on the by default i just cut and open from here here you can see our php my admin is also working on the port number 80 80 when we change the port number we have to change this from here also and if you are just using the default 80 port number then you don't need to provide the port number in the url here we provide if we change then we have to specifically provide the port number okay so this is how you can download and install xamp server hope you like this video if you did please subscribe my channel share with your friends and bye bye